In this video, we will dive into the source code of Ethereum. Most blockchain app developers will not go this deep, but if you do, you will get some unique knowledge and you will stand out from your peers. If you are new here, I'm Julian, and on Indoblox, I help Web2 developers transition into Web3. The Ethereum blockchain is a network of computers called nodes. Each node runs a software called an Ethereum client. The most used client is Geth, and this is its GitHub repo. Most of the code is in Golang. There are many code modules, but only a few are important. The accounts module is for wallet management. The CMD module is the CLI of Geth, and if you go in this file, it's what is executed when you start the CLI especially this function. This can be very interesting to follow the execution path from here. Then there is the consensus module where you have the mining algorithm ETHHash. Then there is the core module which manages the data structure of the blockchain like blocks and transactions. And there's also where you have the Ethereum virtual machine or EVM which execute the smart contracts. That's one of the most interesting part of the code. Then there is ETH, a module to keep the local blockchain synced with the rest of the network. Then there is ETHDB, the database where the Ethereum blockchain is stored, which uses a key value DB created by Google called LevelDB. Then there is the miner module for mining Ethereum. It makes use of the ETH hash mining algorithm in a consensus module. Then there is P2P, a low-level networking library to exchange data between nodes. Then there is the params module where you have various configuration. For example, there is the block numbers for the different forks. Then we have RPC, which handle all the interfaces of Geth, such as the JSON RPC API, the WebSocket API, and the IPC API, a very fast way to interact with the Geth client. And then there's the test folder, which are integration tests to make sure that the implementation of Geth respect the specification of the Ethereum protocol. And you will notice that Solidity is not a part of Geth, it's a separate repo. If you want to keep digging, feel free to explore the code base of Geth. And there are also other implementations in other languages like JavaScript. And you can also check out the different implementations of Ethereum 2.0 like Prism. That's it for today. 